Okay, so now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the second type of door or uh, also the key as well. Okay, so the next door will be this one. And for this door, the player has to find the key first of all in the kitchen to this door. All right, so in short, this will be our second door. All right, first of all, let's add a key right down below in the kitchen right here for example all right so i'm gonna click on game then asset store lock uh, key lock prefabs this will be our second key all right make the rotation x as 90 all right then let's move this key down like this Add it in the key holder then click on the first key and from the first key copy the box collider and click on paste component as new and the second one as well which is the rigid body so copy and paste that as well then tag this as pickup item change the layer this time we're gonna change this to bathroom door key all right then click on it click on layer select bathroom door key okay so now we have the key now we need to work on our door so first of all we need to animate this door so i'm going to select this door all right and click on animation then click on create in the game door anim right here i'm going to create a idle 2 animation click on record change this from 2 to 1 and then uh, uh, then back again to 2 all right this will be the idle now let's create the door open name this as door open too since we already have door open okay click on record first of all change the position z from 2 to 1 and then back to 2 then move it 15 seconds forward and what we're gonna do we're gonna rotate the door like this then move it back right here all right then move it 15 seconds further rotate it then move it right there then again 15 seconds rotate it then move it right here that's it stop recording let's split from the start here it is as you can see now keep selecting this door click on its animator let me stop this animation all right create a trigger right here by the name open make from a transition from idle to open and select it make sure that you select the open trigger and select the door open to animation actually double click on it and remove loop time all right then select the door and actually from our door 2 we're gonna copy the script so copy component click on this door paste component as new let's move it up right there its name is bathroom door key all right everything else will be the same we can now just simply play the game and go ahead and pick this key and using this key we can open this door then drop it pick this key and move up and then open this door all right now we're gonna add one more key right here and that key gonna open the door 
right down below right here okay this door so we're gonna do that all right let's move down first of all we need to animate this door so create animation for it go inside game door anim name this as idle 3 start recording change this from 9 to 8 and then again back to 9 stop recording then create another clip name this as door open 3 all right record change this from 8 to 9 move 15 seconds further rotate the door all right move it right here then again move 15 seconds further rotate it even more and move it right here then 15 seconds more and rotate it and move it right here all right that's it if we play the animation okay as you can see it is doing this I don't know why if you play the idle okay idle is good if you play this one it's doing this and I will tell you why it is doing this let me delete this animation again select this door and as you can see the door rotation Z is 180 you need to make this zero all right then set up the door right here back again make sure the door covers the whole thing like this okay then select the door again and now we need to record it again so open up uh, the door open 3 animation all right not the idle okay let's start recording change this from 8 to 9 again move 15 seconds further rotate the door All right, 15 seconds more and rotate it even more move it right here then 15 seconds more rotate it again and move it right here again that's it play the game again and now as you can see the door opens perfectly fine all right once the animation is done click on its animator and the same thing add a trigger by the name of open make a transition from here to door 3 and add that open trigger double click on this animation remove loop time then we're gonna add a script to it so I think I've copied the script already so I'm gonna just paste it and this time it will require the other key which will be by the name of uh, what is this room okay dining room so I'm gonna name this as dining room key all right now we need to create a key for it in the in this room right here in this bathroom actually so let's select this third key now Put it in here make sure it is on 90 on the X rotation and it is in here all right then to this key and what we're gonna do we're gonna put it in the key holder select the first key box collider paste it then the rigid body copy it and paste it all right then we need to tag this as pickup item and the layer this time should be dining room key all right select the key and add the layer as well yes change children that's it now we're gonna play the game again 
okay and i hope you guys now understand how you can add more keys and more doors all right the next uh, things are for your own you can go ahead and add more keys and more doors right if you open that one i don't know why this door opened by itself okay let me check it out why it it gets opened okay this is the door right here if we check its idle animation if you play it as you can see the idle animation plays wrongly so we need to delete that and record the idle animation again so record it change it to 9 again that's it stop recording and there it is all right let's play it again pick up the first key open the door drop the key pick up this key open this door drop it pick this key all right get down and open this door all right as you can see everything works perfectly fine now uh, you can add uh, another door right here okay this will be your um, fourth door if you want to do it just as in the introductory video you can do it by your own self and now in the next video we're gonna add a code right here and then by using that code we're gonna open this door all right we're gonna add that uh, numeric keypad right here and then when the player enters the code we're gonna open that main door lock and also we're gonna add the words and then using the x we're gonna open up the or you can say cut down the word from this door but that will be in the next video so see you guys in the next one